Hey everyone, today we're going to put the OtterBox Defender case on the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Now, the reason this is already out of the box and opened up was because when I first started filming the video, I tried to put the case back together again and was running into some difficulty here. So I'm going to show you why, what exactly went wrong and it was a little bit you know my fault for not really following the instructions but this case is a hair different from other cases so I'll show you what I'm talking about anyway let's just talk about the case again you know or any, any refresher course it comes with the belt clip with the rotating clip also doubles as like a stand if you want to use it as that so you can prop it up you know put your phone in watch videos and stuff and it'll stay up Okay, outer rubber part. Now, cleaning this, little dish soap, some lukewarm running water. Okay, either dab it dry with a cloth or let it air dry. That'll clean it up really nice. Same thing with this part of the case. Dish soap, a little warm, warm, lukewarm running water. You'll be good to go. Now this part. Now, as usual, if you've ever seen my outer box cases, this is the part you want to be careful of, this inner part. Okay, this outer part of the inner part, let's say. Okay, I'm not even speaking well today, but okay. This part, you want to just wipe it with a cloth, okay? A little warm water, maybe a little tiny bit of soap. Just wipe it down. But this part in here, this inner cushioning part that will help protect your phone in the you know case of a drop, you want to avoid getting this wet as much as possible. And the reason is because this material, while it does an excellent job protecting the phone, it's also super, super absorbent and kind of acts like a sponge. So if you get this thing wet, it is going to be a real pain in the butt to dry. Okay, so avoid getting this wet at all costs. So once again, some dish soap, warm running water. it will clean these two parts up nice. This one, just wipe it with a cloth because you want to avoid getting this inner part wet. All right, so let me wipe down my Galaxy Note 9. And you can see I got the blue one. And it's really hard to get this thing, you know, clean because the fingerprints, as soon as you touch it, get on there. But, well, we're just going to have to deal with that. Or I should say, I should have to deal with that. Okay. Now, here's where I made the mistake the first time I tried to get this case together. So, as you can see, I'm lining up the camera, fingerprint sensor, flash, heart rate sensor with the cutout in the back of the case. So, I lined that up. Now, here is where I made the mistake. It is... Now this is the part that's gonna come down over here where the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack cutout is and a USB type C cable will go in. Okay, now here's where I had the tricky part. Let's see if you can get it this time. So I'm gonna flip it over and this, you know how the arrows, okay, you see the arrows right over there? That's where you're gonna have the clips, these little clips that will go in. What I didn't realize was this one. Now, I never saw this on an OtterBox case before. This is why they said it tripped me up a little bit. Was this one right here has to go under. This bottom one right here, where the cutouts are right here. Let's see if you can see that. For the, there's the S Pen, USB Type-C, and the headphone jack. 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. That clip you want to put in first. You're going to put right under this little plastic bar. It kind of like slips under. Not easy to, easy to do from behind the camera, but I'm trying to show you. Okay, let me flip that around, see if I can get it better. Okay, there you go, there it clicked. Hear that? So that one you want to get in first. Then the rest, see the arrows? Okay, everything clicked and is in place. So now, let's put on our out of rubber part and this could be a little bit tough at first because you know the case is brand new so it's not very pliable all right and again I'm not going to edit this or try to speed it up because you want you to see you know exactly how long it could take you know it could be a little bit a little bit of an aggravation at first but not too bad. OK. 
Okay, let me get that one down here. Okay, a little bit right there. And that part's coming out right there. Let's get that in. All right, looks good. We got the case on. Our Otter Box Defender case on. Let me wipe off some of that dust and stuff. So yeah, that's how it's going to look with your Otter Box Defender case on your Samsung Galaxy Note 9. And I gotta say, it doesn't add a lot of weight or heft. A little bit, but not really that bad. Um, definitely you're gonna to wanna to get a screen protector, okay? Because, let me see. Let's use the box for example. Because as you can see, hey, let me try getting that in there, focus. Okay, as you can see, like if that hits the ground, you see the lip there, you will have a, like maybe, I don't know how much space that is, maybe eighth of an inch, that it won't actually touch the ground. The screen won't hit the ground itself. Now, however, that's assuming it falls on perfectly flat ground with nothing on the ground. But if there's a little rock or some other piece of debris, you can see that your screen will actually make contact if there's anything on the ground. So you definitely want to get a screen protector. So let me just go over that one more time. The part that tripped me up, and so you can avoid it when you're trying to put the case on, is when you put your case together, is this clip right here slides under this bar, and that's right there where the S Pen, USB Type-C, and 3.5 millimeter headphone jack is. So get that clip in first because that'll make things a whole lot easier, which you know, when I first made the video, I didn't know. So let's get this back on. Actually, this, I'll do this later. Now, some people have been asking me, does this work with a fast charge stand? And yes, it does. However, I find with the other box, I have one kind of a problem though, and it's this. If I try to stand up like this, all right, let me just put the case back on. I'll show you all what I'm talking about. So it looks you know, normal. Get the server part back on. I'll show you what I'm talking about as far as that wireless charging stand. So this looks good. And All right, there we go. So let's say I take my Samsung fast wireless charging stand. And if I try to stand up like this with the case on, a lot of times it will start slipping. And it won't hit the sweet spot of the wireless charger and it will stop charging. And also, if I a lot of times, even if I go like that, sometimes it won't hit the sweet spot. So I find with a stand like this, what I have to do is put it laying down, and just like that, it'll charge perfectly. So the wireless charging will work with your OtterBox Defender case. Just unfortunately, it won't work really well when it's standing up. Because I find that sometimes it'll, you know, if it slides just a hair, it'll stop charging, whether it's in portrait or landscape. So again, you know, this is just my opinion, what works best for me. You definitely want to lay the charger flat if you have one of these type of chargers and charge like that. But it will work wireless charging with your Otterbox Defender case. Okay, any questions about the phone or the case or anything, you know, just drop me a note. I know this video was a long time, but I wanted to show you, you know, some of the, um, um, pitfalls of you know putting one of these cases on the first time especially if it's your first time it can be a little bit you know um, challenging or annoying whatever you want to put it but for me I, I love the OtterBox Defender cases they're my favorite cases and I have the blue one here I really like the look of it it's kind of like a blue with a light gray but yeah any questions about the case or how to put it together or the wireless charging or anything you know just drop me a note below Twitter email whatever you want to do all right thanks for watching